In this video, I'm going to create a new test to test my create user API call. And I'm going to create this test under mobile app WS rest assured test project. So here I have three main folders. One of them is source main Java that holds the class and a method that starts our application. This class has public static void main. Uh, then we have resources, which has application properties file, and then we have source test Java. So under the source test Java, I'm going to create a new class. It already has one, which was created for us by default, but I'm not going to use this test class. I'm going to create a new one. So I'll select this package and then I'll do a right mouse click on it and then choose new and I will select G unit test case. At the top here, we have a three option, create JUnit 3, create JUnit 4 test case, or create the new JUnit Jupyter test or JUnit 5. So I'll select this one, although you can continue with JUnit 4 and it will work just fine. So I'm going to work with JUnit 5. The source folder I will leave unchanged. The package I will leave unchanged. And the name of the class, I will give it test create user like this and I will let my development environment create the setup method for me. I will leave everything unchanged here and the class under test I will also leave blank. So I'll just click on finish. So now I have JUnit5 test case and the setup method was created for me. It will be run before each test method. So before test runs, the setup function will be called first. Okay, so now if I run this test case, it will fail because I have fail function here. So now when I have created the test class, I'll just rename the test method a little bit. Uh, this one will be test create user like this. And I will remove the fail function in my following video when I'm going to work on this uh, test create user method. Okay, so let's continue. 